Welcome back everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms coming at you all today with another manufacturer's review, this time of Smith & Wesson. Back in the 1850s, about mid-1850s, Horace Smith and Daniel Wesson got together and created the Smith & Wesson Company, which they pretty much ultimately started to manufacture the volcanic arms, which are the volcanic repeating arms, which were the volcanic rifle and handgun. Super cool guns, very famous, and well, <laughs> Volcanic Repeating Arms was eventually bought out by none other, none other excuse me, than Oliver Winchester. That's right. Winchester bought out Volcanic Arms and Wesson actually stayed on for a little while there as the plant manager for a couple months, almost a year. Smith went back home and started working on a couple of other things. But after a couple of months, Wesson separated from Winchester and, well, they started Smith & Wesson yet again. Smith & Wesson part two, you can say, right? And then in the 1860s, they started producing the Smith & Wesson Model 1, which was a 22 short black powder firearm and was very popular as more of a defensive pistol or revolver uh, from for the uh, Civil War soldiers from both sides. And since then, they've pretty much grown up and, well, we saw the Model 1, eventually turn into the Model 10, which is probably one of the most famous revolvers ever produced. I mean, sure, Colt has the Python and Anaconda and all the snake guns and everything, which is super cool, but the Model 10 was widely used amongst law enforcement and even soldiers during World War II. So just a very, very popular revolver. And today, even, they're still producing some pretty awesome revolvers. They're also produ producing a lot of handguns and rifles and their performance center, just really neat stuff. And in the year 2000, they actually ran under a little bit of scrutiny whenever they tried to team up with uh, the Clinton administration and making all of their smart guns and they were nearly run out of business because of it and they decided to drop all of that and like that's not good got rid of that CEO and started actually being a second amendment family or friendly family right so we think but anyway no Smith & Wesson makes some quality affordable firearms I for one do like their MMP series of pistols like what we see right here again very popular among law enforcement this one specifically is the MMP 9 the M2.0 series in FDE 9 millimeter obviously very cool gun you got a 15 round mag capacity pretty much when you look at it smith and wesson's competition to the glock 19. Uh, what i do like about this over the glock models is the fact that you do actually have a true picatinny rail i do like the stippling the little bit more aggressive stippling on the grip and you've got on this specific model ambi control so you've got an ambi safety and even ambi slide release that you can see right here pretty nice triggers on these guys aren't bad either Let's take a look. So we can see we've got a little bit of take up here and then it drops. Not bad. Reset, a little bit of travel, but there you go. Not bad, just good quality revolver, or excuse me, <laughs> pistols. Uh, ones that are used widely among law enforcement, of course. All right, so very cool guns, like them. And recently they've actually started moving into the more, well, I'm not gonna say too recent because they've always been making pretty compact firearms as well. But for instance, we've got one of the newer ones that we actually recently did a video on here. And this is the MMP9 Shield, the Shield being their little bit more uh, compact line, but this is the Shield Plus. So in this little compact boy right here, you actually got a 13 round magazine, which is pretty incredible if you ask me. I like that a lot. There are sure, sure a lot of other different competitors on the market uh, when it comes to these compact style guns even ones a little bit smaller you take a look at like the uh, sig p365 or the spring hellcat uh, that still have very capable capacity but this has just a little bit more and it doesn't add a whole lot of girth <laughs> to the grip back here but really good feel to it i for one like my mmp9 because it's just a great little concealed carry option uh, but i don't have the plus in my safe yet and if i were to go for a plus well, I'd probably go plus plus, right? That's how I'm looking at the performance center version of the plus. Anyway, it does come with the Crimson Trace red dot, which is very nice. It just has a removable RMR cut right back here, which is pretty cool. It does have the fiber optic sights like that. Still has a 13 round capacity, just a little bit longer barrel, just for a little bit more accuracy. But the trigger on this guy is pretty nice as well. You got more of that flat face type trigger, blade safety in there applying a little bit of pressure, drops, nice, not a whole lot of travel, reset, not a whole lot of travel either. Not as audible as I'd like it to be, 
but it does feel good, and I think I need to take this guy to the range and run it. Those fiber optic sights pick up really nice, especially for uh, daylight, right? So very good, definitely liking this guy. They clean it up just a little bit more. Good, solid build, I like it. Now, I've seen a lot of guys too, uh, with their MMP ARs, which are fantastic. Again, affordable, decent quality ARs, and much like this one right here. We do have, this is the Sport 2, or the just your standard MP15. For a while, they were running just a very budget-friendly uh, sport model, and it didn't come with things like a dust cover or, you know, Ford Assist, which arguably, some people say this isn't even necessary anyway, but for me, without it, it just ruins the whole aesthetic of the AR platform. For me, do I ever use it? No, but hey, it just looks cool, and that's what matters, right? No, get out there, get training, and go shoot and stuff, or if you can't find ammo, make sure you're signing up for our text alerts, which is pretty easy. Video, text the word video to the number you see at the bottom of your screen, or just take a photo of this QR code right over here. That way you'll be first to be notified through text alerts when we get our ammo shipments in. And we are getting them in regularly, so don't miss out on it, all right? So that way you can go out there, you know, have some ammo for, for a bad day or when the zombies come or uh, get out there and actually train and practice. But if you can't, dry fire is always an option, all right? The MP15, again, just a basic good AR-15. It runs, it works. It's lightweight, it's affordable, and I think that's what a big deal is, is the fact that you can afford it, afford the ammo, afford a good optic, or whatever else. It does come with your backup iron sight, just in case you need it. Well, it's a polymer Magpul sight, definitely not iron, but that's okay. A2 front sight post, everybody knows what that looks like, right? If you don't, now you do. There it is, boom, front sight post, integrated gas block, standard AR, right? Uh, but basic AR stuff here. But anyway, birdcage right up front too, A2 style as well, it's closed on the bottom. And these guys are just fun. They shoot well, they work well, and it being just a base AR with your delta ring assembly, there's so much you can do to these to just make them cool. Basic handguard right here for uh, heat protection. So guys, ARs, you already know all about them. You can do so much cool stuff to them. You can turn them into the most tactical cool thing you could ever think of, or keep it plain Jane simple, and it's still going to work. How about that? Isn't that pretty impressive? Now, they also make, if you are worried about ammo and you would like to train a little bit more, shoot a little bit more, they also make the MP 1522. And something I haven't seen yet, well, other than what's right here in front of me, is the pistol version. They do make the original rifle version of this guy as well, but I thought, Wow, this is actually pretty cool because if you haven't shot a semi-auto 22 long rifle yet, I would 100% recommend that as it is a whole lot of fun. It uh, helps save ammo, especially back you know pre ammo get in days, you know like 2019. Uh, <laughs> you could find 22 boxes of a thousand just laying around, pick them up for you know 50, 60, 70 bucks. I don't know, way back when it wasn't even that expensive, uh, but. You can pick it up and just run and have so much fun for days on end, shooting at whatever type of paper plates, targets, you know, Coke cans, whatever you want it to be. <laughs> Definitely Coca-Cola cans. But uh, anyway, yeah, just a whole lot of fun. And now that they're making it in this cool little pistol configuration with the SBA3 brace, which as you guys just saw is adjustable, nice. You still have the Picatinny rail that runs the full length of the upper receiver and the polymer rail right here. Also too, looks to be free floated, almost. Anyway, it looks like it does make a contact right up here. Almost a free floated barrel, you guys almost got me there. Uh, but really neat setup. And if again, if you haven't shot a semi-auto 22, it is a whole lot of fun. If you haven't shot a full auto 22, I would also recommend that. If only you were full auto. Oh well, maybe one day, right? But anyway, the 22s are a lot of fun and I'm glad that Smith & Wesson makes, again, an affordable option to get out there and practice and play with because if you don't feel like spending all of your 5.56 ammo out at the range, you could still at least get some repetitions in, some drills in with your 22, getting used to the, and getting familiar with the controls of your AR because hey, believe it or not, they're the exact same. The exact same controls, so. Easy day, right? Pretty cool stuff. So like I said, Smith & Wesson has been around for well over 100 years, well over 150 years now, and just making some pretty cool firearms. Sure, I think they've learned from some of their mistakes 
couple couple of decades ago there. Uh, but hey, you know, it's business. What are you going to do? And so uh, they're still making all sorts of firearms that are good quality. They work well. They're affordable, which is definitely a major plus. And uh, I totally would recommend them as a manufacturer, especially if you're looking to get your first AR-15. This guy right here, you guys of course have seen probably my Mark 18 setup, my Colt M4 with all of the tactical gizmos and gadgets that you 100% do not need. All right, I have all that stuff on there. Why? Because I think it's fun. What more of, of an excuse do I need, all right? Something as simple as this right here is going to work and it's going to work well as long as you are efficient with it, all right? So if you have, again, all the tactical accessories and you don't know what button does what, well, you're gonna find yourself up that ubiquitous creek without a paddle, all right? So don't do that. Get out there, train, practice, all that type of fun stuff. So I'll leave it off there with Smith & Wesson. Let me know some of y'all's favorites Smith & Wesson models that you have in your collection. Still love that 38 Special Model 10. That thing is just so sweet. The trigger on those are fantastic. We actually got some surplus ones here, well, old warehouse a while back, and uh, they were beautiful. So, oh well, anyway, let me know again down in the comment section. Before I let you guys go, of course, I wanna remind y'all about our current giveaway. It's the FN Scar FDE. 50 shades of FDE, of course, with the Trijicon VCOG 1 to 6. Tango down vertical grip here. Let me just throw this. Get out of the way, MMP. FN's here now. And uh, there you go. Take a look at this beauty. We teamed up with Braden Price to introduce this as our current giveaway in this exact setup. And we blew up a Polaris ATV to show it off. By the way, Polaris is also your keyword to get yourself some like 400 extra entries. No cost to you. All it takes is one entry to win. But of course, the more you have, the greater your chances. I think that's like simple statistics to some of you down in the comment section. But anyway, uh, so yeah, all it takes is one entry to win, no purchase necessary. Head on over to classicfirearms.com to get said entries. God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.